you gotta learn all the commands again. Yes. Uh, same here, man. I actually had to look up my own command list in order to remember stuff again. Hello, I had fun this afternoon dubbing with uh, with the battlefield, with Ooga Booga. Hold on. Let's kill this light behind me. So yeah, I had fun. Um, it's gonna be kind of a marathon today because I'm thinking about uh, jumping back on tonight as well. It was fun. Yo, Tobias in the house. What's up? Toto -to Tobias, he's my colleague. He's my co-worker. Hold on. There. That's better. Look, Tobias. Look. Hello, Tobias. Buzzing for life, it's dubbing for life. So we did a cooking show yesterday. We did a game stream today, this afternoon. And now we're doing another cooking show. Holy shit, what's going on? Is Jermona on a vacation or something? So many streams? Yes. You don't buzz anymore, no. Indeed, I have to come up with a new line, with a new punchline, dubbing. So today on the live cooking, we're gonna make pasta. Oh, hold on, I missed a sub. Who subbed? Dubbing, coming in with the sub, I didn't notice that. Dubbing, thank you so much. Wow, like all the, the menu stuff kind of blocked it. Appreciate that, Dubbing. It's a, it is a hele mooie microphone. HyperX solo cost. Yes. So with the cooking, we're going to make pasta. I got some uh, tagliatelli over here. So that's the pasta we're going to use. And... We're going to add a uh, roasted bell pepper sauce to that. The bell peppers are already in the oven. Or paprika. Uh, there you go. There's the new hint, hint dubbing. It also can be interchanged with one another. All right, all right. But this only complies to a small amount of people you meet in life. That's so vague. Unless you know what the word is. <laughs> Speech? No. No speech. Anyway, the bell peppers are in the oven, guys. Um, I got it set to 220 degrees Celsius. I didn't do anything with it. I just took out the seeds and now I'm roasting them in the oven. We'll take them out in a bit while I show the, the other ingredients. So I showed the pasta for the sauce. I'm also gonna have to use tomatoes, 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 and some tomato paste. Now, for a little extra, I got some rocket argula or rucola. There's, it has many names. I like this particular one and i got some fresh basil over here look at that the, the the bush is so big you barely see it that's what she said some fresh basil over here goes through the sauce but also i'm gonna pick some leaves and just like use it as a garnish and then i got some mozzarella over here big one um Gonna put some oil on that, some pepper and salt, nothing more. And then briefly, right, right before we finish up, gonna put that in the oven for, for like a short period. Get it like nice and melt it a little bit. It's gonna be lovely. And for the garnishing, I got some uh, special cheese. We're gonna rasp that over our plate later. I got some grano padano. Very lovely Italian cheese, nice and salty. I can't wait for the cooking babies. <laughs> Lindsay, you made it. You made it to the cooking show. Welcome. Hello, Lindsay. So let's have a look at these uh, bell peppers.
I had a like the con um, how do you call it? Like the guy in control of the 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 building stuff we have to do around the house. Contractor, I think it's contractor. He was here just now, so I was kind of late on uh, putting the bell peppers into the oven. But I got it now at two thirty Celsius for more heat. So let's hope it goes faster. Because you want that nice black skin, you know? The bell peppers have to be roasted properly. Prue took a nap, a late nap. Ah, like a siesta, or she's doing like a siesta. I love siestas. What's up, Jeffrey? Hello, welcome. All right, let's cut these tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. Good heavens, I'm out of garlic, guys. I was like, where's my garlic? I'm out of garlic. She. <laughs> uh, 60 minutes or so, depending on how much I talk, Jeffrey. It's a... Uh, Cloudy today in the Netherlands, but um, I'm still suffering from uh, from the heat a lot. You guys can't see it, but I'm actually got a moist forehead right now. Well, that escalated quickly on the chicken farm. You're going to order some Papa John's. <laughs> Tobias wants to eat here as well. Sorry, I, I only have enough for two people and that's me and the missus. So I have to drain the water out of the mozzarella real quick. Let's use this knife. Mozzarella. It's a it's a funky looking one, this one. Let's see. I'm gonna cut it like this. Put it in there. That's also what she said. Jeffrey, do you own the new Battlefield game? Battlefield uh, 2042? Probably not. Jeffrey is into the GTA lately, I believe. Oh no, what was it? Wildlands, right? Ghost Recon Wildlands. Nope, thought so. It's better now, a bit better. So I got some olive oil over here. If I can open it at least. Jesus. So I'm gonna drain the mozzarella with it a little bit. Mm. Very tasty olive oil, this one. I'm playing um, Netflix. I've watched that uh, No Way Home, Spider-Man No Way Home movie. I was kind of disappointed. Disappointed, to say the least. So not No Way, yeah, n yeah, it was No Way Home. Not far from home, but No Way Home. Put some salt on that, a little bit of flavoring. A little bit of white pepper. There you go. So this goes into the oven last minute. We don't want it to be like completely melted. We want it slightly melted, a little bit warm, slightly melted. I'm gonna have a look at my peppers again. Starting to get there, so I'm gonna preheat the water now. Got a big pan of water over here. I'm gonna put that on the fire. Okay. 
Senpai, good morning. Damn, that was not a very long night for you, Senpai. Did you get enough sleep? Or haven't you gone to bed yet? That's even worse. Intelligence, no. Pretty good, pretty good. We're, gonna, we're back at the cooking show, Senpai. You didn't go to, to sleep until 5 a.m. Damn, you vampire, Senpai. Shit. Better, uh, better get your coffee in, Senpai. Let's see. What I'm making, hold on, explanation mark menu. There you go. We're having pasta tonight. We're roasting uh, some bell peppers as we speak in the oven. And we're gonna make a sauce out of that. I already cut some stuffies over here. And then, so we got the pasta, then comes the sauce. Then comes some lovely mozzarella over here. And I got some uh, Grana Padano cheese. We're gonna rasp that. Add some rocket or argila or rucola to it. And yeah, this should be good. I, I meant to have like uh, onions and garlic, but apparently uh, I got short memory loss because I forgot to get those. So I'm just gonna do without it. I think I got like the dried stuff laying in the drawer. Of course you can come over, even if I'm not cooking, but probably you don't want to come over when I'm not cooking. Probably. You're, you only want me for the food, Senpai. I'm on to you. <clears throat> I know how this cookie crumbles. Sheet. All right, bell peppers. Man, they're not nearly finished. They're like far from finished so i'm gonna turn up the oven even higher and place the peppers on the top shelf in order to like speed up the process a bit so it's out for a second look it's starting to get there a little bit on this one i don't know if you guys can see it but you want it like blacked out you know you want it nice like it's been burned you know voila so i got it on the top shelf right now you come over with or without food okay you're just saying that right now to make me feel feel satisfied again, Senpai. So dubbing tonight more Belfield. I'm sorry, I'm bullying you, Senpai. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So let me grab a bowl for this rocket. Let's give that some flavoring. Not too much, just a little bit. And some water. Need to hydrate in this heat, guys. I mean, high temperature oven right now. I'm standing right next to it. Looks like you got some competition dubbing. And Jeffrey is quite good with the arc too. Some of that olive oil again. A little bit of salt, like nothing more. That's it. Mix it up a little bit. So we got that ready. Um, let's put that uh, over here. 
like my plan with this cooking, with this recipe and with this stream was that as soon as I start the stream, the peppers would be ready, but unfortunately they're not. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't know what to do guys. Sometimes you go too fast. Wisdom could be, if you look at the, all the, all the hints out there. It's a logical way of thinking about what the hidden word might be, Lindsay. Nice try, but unfortunately, it's not the word we're looking for. Love, friendship, joy, no. You guys didn't even, like, guess the uh, associated word yet. Man, this is a tough one. All right. Uh, I need a big pen. So, I got, like, a... A nice, kind of like a, a stir frying pan, if you will. Let's heat that up. Mm. So I'm going to move this camera to the stove so you guys can see what's going on. Give me a second. On the move over here. Hope it's not too close to the heat, the camera. There you go. So heating up this one, let me add some light here. There, that's better, right? Bam, all right. Like I'm my own director as well, guys, so bear with me. What is happening? Oh, Senpai, they're trying to unlock the chicken arc. Like the chicken arc that's like trapped inside. There are a lot of chickens. And if you manage to guess the hidden word, you unlock the chicken arc and all the chickens inside are yours. So they're just trying to, they're not basically here for the cooking. They're here for the chickens, you know? So, but so far they're not very, very successful at unlocking it as you can see because yeah hints it makes you understand the foundations foundations of what it also can be interchanged with one another but this only complies to a small amount of people you meet in life i'm loving the new mic i can do like mute it like this I'm being muted. You can see me talk, but I, you can't hear me. And uh, yeah, I don't wear, have to wear a headset. That's the most, most good thing about it. In goes a little bit of olive oil, a different one. This one, this is to bake in. The other one I used isn't to bake in. So the one I'm using right now is to bake stuff with. I got a nice hot stir frying pan over here. Normally, right now, I would un add onions and garlic first, but since I forgot, wah, 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 we'll have to do without and just use some dried herbs instead to add flavor, you know? Foundations of what? Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. That's up to you guys. So in goes the tomato. Sizzling. So I'm just gonna bake this until it's like one like giant barf, if you will. <laughs> where like I'm gonna completely break the tomato, like where it's get like saucy like. It takes some time, lots of water will come free, but that's all right, because I need that water to have a consistent sauce. The mic does sound good, right? You got the same one, right, Toto? Tobias. So if only these bell peppers would speed up, 
I could actually take them out and add them to the tomatoes in a bit. So let's hope they're getting close to uh, being ready. Let's have a look. Leave them in there for a bit. Let's add some salt to this. Some pepper. I got enough flavoring for the sauce in my drawer. Maybe I can show you guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm moving the camera again, guys. Here we go. Don't know if the cable reaches it. All kinds of flavors. And I got like flour stuff and different types of sugar, different types of flour. We got some herb mixes over here. So we're just going to have a look at what we're going to use. I mean, it's got to be Italian like, right? Man, I'm sweating my ass off. Let me clean my face off screen. Because it's so freaking hot. Miss is still not home, by the way. Water. Guys, you got to keep me hydrated. I put put the goddamn hydrate option. You guys don't use it. I have to remember myself every time. She. The mute button is really sensitive. But <clears throat> for me, the way I have it set up, it doesn't like, uh, it doesn't bother me. I can just do like, boop, see? But maybe your, like your mouth is really close to your microphone, Tobias. Because I don't see how I can accidentally hit this, like when it's over here. You'll bring my fan? Oh, yes, please. I could use that. I might have added a little bit too much of the white pepper because it, it, it smells really strong right now. I guess we find out soon enough. Dubbing is looking for a team to do a barn heist. That's another way of uh, collecting chickens and a monster hunt, of course. Dubbing remembers all the stuff. He's always after the chickens. Dubbing won last season at the chicken farm. Looks like he's gonna win it again. Only Yanusko is like trailing him. What? All from down there, like on the scoreboard, on the leaderboard. Nobody's really close to uh, dubbing. So as you can see, the tomatoes starting to like become one big mass of lovely Dutch tomato instead of being like chopped up into cubes. So now would be the best time to add the bell peppers. So. I'm just gonna take them out no matter how they look, because otherwise, you know, we gotta speed up the process a little bit here. And this oven is so goddamn hot. It will do for me how they look right now. Um, whew. Damn, because I got it set to 230 degrees Celsius. That's like, let's see, that's like 470 Fahrenheit, something like that. Oh, wait, what's going on? I can see so much stuff in the chat. Oh, it's all the chicken games. What's up, Cup God? Maybe you shouldn't be playing that many games at once, dubbing. <laughs> it makes it really hard for me to like see what's going on in chat. <laughs> Maybe stick like one or two games at a time. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll show you the bell pepper. Hold on. There we go. 
There it is. Can you guys see that? A little bit. A little bit burned. Yeah. So, quickly put that in a bowl and top it with some foil so it can steam a little bit. Makes it easier to peel off the skin, the outside skin. So let's grab a bowl quickly. Bowl. Bloody hot, hot, hot. Drop that, you bastard. How are you doing? Uh, where should I put this? Over here, I guess. Do you have a battlefield yet, cup god? Money? No. Money doesn't make us understand the foundations. So, you can enjoy my groin for a second here, guys. The little Jamona. Blood? No. Mm. It's not like really that associated, like blood, but it gets a little bit closer. I'll give you guys that one. Blood. Well, it, no, it doesn't have to do that much with it, but... Um, let's say it's the way you should be moving to, like the, where the blood is. The foundations of what? This is why I love the chicken arc, Lindsay. Because people at one point get frustrated, even mad at me. Like, I can't help that you guys can't guess it, you know? I'm not going to put out too much straightforward of an answer. So this, I'm going to steam that for a little bit. So let's get back to the stove. Whoop. There is that. So I got the tomato paste. I'm going to add that to the tomatoes now. Brain. Like these, the, the work we're looking for can be found inside. But not, not, not just inside, not just inside your body, inside everything. There, I said too much. It's inside everything, guys. So in goes the tomato paste. Let's turn up the heat a little bit again. So I got uh, the caps of the bell pepper over here. I took that off so I could take out the seeds on the inside. This just, I'm not going to peel the skin off of this one because it's like too small for me. That's what she said. Um, so I'm just going to cut this up with the skin. The big ones, I'm going to peel off the skin. Don't have to cut it all that fine unless you want like one smooth sauce. But I like like more chunky, chunky sauce. That's why I add uh, the tomato paste, by the way. So it so even though you use like chunks of vegetables, you still can make like one like one mess out of it. Also the can from the tomato paste, I always save that. And fill it up with water and I'll add it later if needed, you know. Oh shit, we're getting close. Molecule can be associated, atom can be associated. Holy shit.
Yeah. I got you guys on the wrong leads. I, I, I thought I knew what the hidden word was. But I was mentioning, I was referring to the associated words, apparently, because I thought the hidden word was Adam, but it's not. But it definitely has to do with whatever. If you look at the second hint, you know, damn, I thought it was Atom. I'm sorry, guys. Iron. Iron can be associated too. So we got molecules, we got atoms, ions. Like I saw somebody say atoms. I'm like, why doesn't tell the chat that the word is unlocked? But it was the associated words. In the meantime, adding the bell pepper or the first part of it. So, have some leftover parsley. I'm going to add that as well. Otherwise, I have to throw it away. That would be a shame, right? Cells, oxygen, no. Matter can be associated. Yeah, but where can you find these terms? All these terms. Where, you, where, where? When you talk about what? Could be biology, could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what else? Science. Yeah, yes. So science. What kind of science? Yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Let's go, Lindsay. Is that is that your first arc unlock ever? Is that your first? How many chickens, though? Ninety-five thousand chickens. Holy shit, Lindsay! Nice. That's a lot. Let's see. Did you sneak in the top ten now? Let's see, is she in the top ten? Yes or no? Yes, you're fourth now. Let's go. Climbing the ranks. So I got the base for the sauce. So now let's uh, add the rest of the bell pepper here. Let's move the camera back to my cutting board. GG's, Lindsay. GG, everybody. See, that's why I don't give like uh, hints off the bat. That's why I program the hints, because if if you let it up to me, I, I'll fuck it up, you know? <laughs> Woo. Lindsay is rich, guys. And this is bloody hot. So I didn't roast it. Oh, there you go. Oh, you guys can't, um, didn't move the camera yet. She, why you do this, Jamona? Yes, they are, Lindsay, but I can't make it too straightforward. Otherwise it would be too easy. I always have those fake, fake ass commands. Damn, I can feel the sweat dripping, dripping down my face. That's how hot it is over here, guys. Yes, dubbing, dubbing complains about that too all the time. About the hints being too vague and yeah. Might as well just say, all right, this is the word, guys. <laughs> you wouldn't know how hard it is to come up with the hints. Come up with the hidden word, it's easy. You just think of a word like, okay. But coming up with a hint that doesn't say too much, but also kind of puts you in the direction of, otherwise, what word would the hint be? You know, it's hard. It's hard. And this bell pepper is hot. I'm burning my fingers, but that's all right. I can take it. 
I'm used to it. So if you roast these bell peppers even further, it also gets easier to peel off the skin. But the big advantage of roasting them first, it, it just adds so much flavor to it, like so much. All right, send my love, Jeffrey. Say hi to M for me. Oh, and the fox is on the cooldown. This motherfucker thinks he can say goodbye and then after that briefly before he gets out, like try and get some fox uh, to do some stuff here. Nasty, Jeffrey. I see you. We see you, Jeffrey. He thought like, oh, if I do the fox and I got a score, then, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe people won't get mad at me because I left chat. Shit. So I'm on my final bell pepper. So let's get this skin away. And you can see the steam coming off, guys. And I'm actually touching it with my bare hands. Do not try this at home. So let's... Uh, woo. I have to wash my face, guys. It's so warm. Um, let's cut this up, these peppers, into chunks. Just random chunkies. If you have enough time to roast them, don't even make it taste more delicious. Wow, my English, sorry guys. To make it even taste better than it already does, you can take your time and fire up the barbecue and grill them on there. Oh Lord. Random chunkies. All right. Tobias, thanks for dropping by, man. Enjoy the rest of your holidays. What happened to the wolf? Oh, and it ate 36,000. That's a lot. Cop God. What is your response to this? So let me quickly clean this working space. I like to keep it clean in between. Damn, that should be my new, my new slogan. Right, let's add that <clears throat> to the rest of the stuffies. So let's move this back to the stove. Lots of moving around with the camera, sorry guys. I'm thinking about adding even another camera like a third camera so one for the cutting board one for my face one for the stove all right big hugs Lindsay. thanks for hanging out and uh, once again congratulations on that chicken arc unlock let's go almost 100k goddamn chickens sheet have a great one big hugs much love So in goes the bell pepper, off we go now, turn off the heat again. Cleaning up, one second guys. So I still got that can where the tomato paste was in. I'm gonna fill that with water in a bit and add it to the sauce. So it gets more like, uh, like liquid, the sauce. Right now it's just chunkies and stuff. And we got the tomato paste in there. So that's kind of binds the stuff together too, a little bit. So I'm also going to add a little bit of the basil I've got through the sauce. 
For that I need to cut some. I got it right here. Ooga booga! Was lachen vandaag toch? Ja toch. Look, beautiful bezel. So I'm just gonna get the scissors. Let's see, can I move this one down? Yes. So I'm just gonna cut the branches first. Because this one is like, uh, you buy these while it's still in the soil. So if you want, you can like cut off the fresh leaves and branches and then save the soil, put it in your backyard at a spot where there's enough sun. And trust me, basil, if, as long if, as you treat it well and give it enough water, it grows like one one bush grows like within a week if it's uh, like summer. If it's like nice weather, nice a lot of sun, a little bit warm, you know, not too warm. All right, dubbing. Yeah, dubbing missed out on the chicken farm, so I guess he doesn't need to be here anymore. I'm kidding, dubbing. So. See how everything is kind of becoming a one whole sauce instead of like chunkies. Well, there's still chunks in it, but it's starting to kind of like bind with each other, you know? So I'm, right now I'm gonna add that water. There's still a little bit of tomato paste in there. So you always have like this leftover tomato paste inside the can. That's why I use the can to add the water. I use it as like a, to dose the water, to make a doses I want to add. So you don't add too much all at once. You kind of add a little bit by little bit and see how it goes, you know, but it also takes the final stuff out of the can. So I start with one can of water and it takes some time you know so make make sure you keep stirring it so i'm peeling off some of the vessel over here what are you doing tonight Uga Booga? we'll be back playing again probably continue some more booty fields So, so I'm peeling off all the leaves from the branches. I don't want the branches. I just want the leaves of the basil. Let's lower this fire a little bit. So my water over here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, over here on the other side of the stove, I got some water. I'm going to boil the pasta in it, so let's bring up the heat there. And I got the beautiful, beautiful tacchiatelli. So I'm leaving some of the leaves for garnishing. And everything else, I'm going to cut that up a little bit and put it through the sauce sauce 
chop, chop, chop it up. Just like randomly, it doesn't have to be all neat and tidy because it's going through the sauce anyway. But you want to reduce the size a little bit. Alright, in it goes. Nice fresh basil. Look at that color. Lovely. Bam! Gorgeous. Who's still with me, guys? Or everybody's eating and chilling right now? Who's still with me? We're almost finished. So I'm going to add a little bit more water to it, a little bit. Like half of the can. And that's about enough. So unfortunately, I didn't have like the, the garlic, but I do have dried garlic as in like powder. It's not as tasty as the real deal, but since I ran out of garlic and I forgot to get me one, I'm just going to have to use that. And also to give it that extra bell pepper flavor, I'm going to add some intense smoked bell pepper powder. It's like really intense in flavor. And this is one of my favorites. So I'm not gentle with this one. I like, I like that smoky flavor, you know. I don't know how it is in the other countries, but over here in the Netherlands, they sell this everywhere. Some are not that good, but if you go to like an Asian supermarket over here, it's like really good quality. The missus is home, guys. <laughs> right. Time for the pasta to go in. That's a little bit too dark, isn't it? Let's 
So I'm going to switch to, let's see, this one over here. Let's see how that looks. So we have to wait a little bit. Can we put this closer? Maybe, just maybe. There you go. All right. So you guys enjoy this uh, beautiful sauce for a bit. I'll be right back. I really need uh, fresh air for a second. Just, just briefly. Whew, it's so hot. All right. So the pasta doesn't need a lot of boiling time. Like six minutes or so. So in the meantime, I'm going to clean up a little bit and wait for you guys to say something. Look at the pasta again. Not quite yet, almost.
That sauce looks amazing, doesn't it? Perfect. So the pasta is nearly finished, nearly cooked. <coughs> so I'm going to put in the mozzarella now. Remember we did like the olive oil and pepper and salt, nothing more, just that. Briefly, briefly going to put that in the oven. Which I, by the way, already turned off. So it's not like it's like off, but because I just prepared the bell peppers in there, it's still like really hot, but that's that's enough to like melt the mozzarella a little bit. I got my uh, rasp ready to rasp the, the Grano Pedano cheese over everything. We're gonna put everything on the plate in a bit and then I'm gonna put that uh, lovely Italian cheese on top. So I got everything ready over here. So the pasta is almost al dente. All right, let's get the plates out. So sauce is ready. Pasta is ready. I'm going to drain it right now. So let's finish things up, shall we? First, I'm going to take off the pasta. Pasta, pasta. Very nice little pasta. So let's uh, move this camera again and uh, let's uh, let's see let's switch back to the other one uh, pushing buttons all right moving camera Love 
The mozzarella, slightly melted, so it still is like one big chunk, but that it's not cold anymore. There you go. So, some basil leaves, extra. Need some color, right? Lovely. All right. Put a little bit of the the rocket on there as well. I should have done that before I added the sauce. Actually, we'll do it the next plate. We'll do it by for the, with the next one. So. Some of that lovely Grana Padano. Let's rasp it over. Don't be gentle. We love cheese. All right, let's quickly give this one to the missus and we'll get a close up of the other one. Flat. Right, next one. That's for me. Uh, what did I say? The rucola. Rucola first. There. The sauce. I'm trying a different setup now. Different order. I didn't put it in the right order, the last one. Some of that lovely cheese. Finish it off with some Basil. Clean the, the side a little bit here. You can add other stuff to this dish as well, like pine nuts or whatever, whatever you like, man. That's what I love about pasta. You can go any way you like. <clears throat> anyway, since everybody kind of uh, went out and do its own stuffies, I'm just going to have a little close up of this one. It's not the most prettiest looking on camera, I must say, but the taste all right, guys, um, whoever's still watching, thanks. Um, everybody else who dropped by today, thank you as well. Um, 
I have to go back to work, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. So the amount, like the frequency of streams will be kind of on the low key again after that. I'll still be there. I won't be gone for another year or so. <laughs> that won't happen again. But yeah, frequency, frequency goes down from now on. Like this week, I was live a lot of the time, but that was because I had vacation and I didn't, we didn't go anywhere, just stayed home. So that's why I had a lot of time. That's why I was live a lot. But yeah, from starting tomorrow, that's going to change. I hope everybody had a great time. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the evening and stay chicken.